All right, so I'm back here out on the frame for the NX. I've got a couple of pieces here left over from the deck. I'm going to go ahead and trim them up and put those in. They will be exactly four feet from either side of the deck. And if you look here, I can't believe this. I actually set this frame up by eyesight and if you look at that it's almost perfectly level <laughs> that's a god's honest truth i kid you not i brought my level out to check it there it was almost perfectly level amazing more to come all right i just had to show this I cannot believe this, but no matter where I put this level, it's level across the platform. Now this is a three foot long carpenter's level. That means it is level, okay? It's not taking up a measurement at one little area. It's spanning across a three foot span. Now I'm absolutely amazed. I know some of you guys are not going to believe this, but I leveled this platform by sight. The only way I found out that it was this level was I came out here, I thought, you know, I'm getting ready to put down lumber for the floor, uh, underlayment or uh, subfloor, and I thought, I, I need to make sure it's level. So I came out here and I started checking it, and that's when I found that, indeed, it is level no matter where I put the level no matter what angle doesn't matter which span I go across it is level and I'm just amazed you know I mean literally you do something for years and either you get good at it or you don't <laughs> and apparently I've gotten pretty good at it <laughs> alrighty then here we are this is the first sheet of 7 16 OSB Subfloor, I'm getting, re getting ready to put down. I need to put a couple more uh, cross supports in. You see these cross supports? This is the old school way of doing it. And it strengthens and firms the entire floor joist across the entire span of the floor or deck. Now, I've got a couple more to add and then I'm going to start putting the floor down I may use this for interior walls or maybe even exterior walls I'm not sure I got some brand new lumber that's got a thermal barrier built into it 7 16 OSB with a thermal barrier and I'll show that when I get to it at, either, at any rate I coated both sheets I've got another one up against the wall two sheets of 7 16 OSB with about three coats of copper coat. Again, I want to make sure it's bug proof, waterproof, whatever proof. When I seal this up and I insulate it and put the wiring in, I want to stay warm and toasty in the winter and cool, hip slick and cool in the summer. So there we go, more to come. <laughs> Alrighty then, so here's the finished deck. I got to show just a little bit of the beginning of the construction of this in the spring. And then it just got to where it was uh, have to get finished 
job, job done. So I didn't have time to keep jacking around with the camera. Long story short, the deck is done. It's not exactly what I wanted, but it's done. And that's a whole other story. At any rate, to make sure that the deck didn't get weathered and start looking like crap. Did you ever see somebody build a deck and two, three years later it looked like crap? We put five coats of stain on this deck. Five coats. And before winter hits, we'll probably go scrub the whole thing down and put at least one or two more layers of stain before it's all said and done. Anyway, there you go. Finished deck.